I volunteer at Lazarus Boutique. It's a place where the homeless community can go and they can get lunch and I help them personal shop so that we can go through the boutique and find clothes for them so that they can be prepared for job interviews. Um, so last year I started volunteering at Spofford Home. This is um, a, a place of a uh, nonprofit organization who like um, put together this program to provide like all the kinds of special education programs, like um, uh, special cares and daycares for all those kids with um, like special uh, special needs and like difficult family conditions. My family every spring break would take a week of our two weeks and go to Nashville, Tennessee and we build garden boxes for the community there. The, the gardens that we built, I believe, produced over 100,000 pounds of food. Uh, in my community, I teach, and since I teach at a boarding school, classes kind of, well, students usually get up at around 6 uh, a.m., and then they go off to like breakfast and do like morning exercises before going back to bed at around 10. My biggest motivation was originally I kind of uh, just wanted to start uh, to try teaching. I love helping the community and when I first started going there I was a little hesitant at first. I could not imagine living um, how, like they do and I'm very fortunate to live the way I do and I want to make sure that everyone feels loved. We especially put, uh, put together this um, carnival last year um, around Thanksgiving for all those kids in our community. And we um, sing songs and like throw parties and those kind of things like uh, during this one night. Uh, we had a lot of fun. Compared to other kids in that community, it's not fair that they only have that poor condition, like poor education, uh, just depends on their like economic and financial status. That's just not fair to me. So I think it's really like I have to uh, do my part in uh, that community to actually contribute to their own education, their uh, daily life. Overall, it's it's been a very good opportunity for growth for me. Just see, uh, just seeing like kids kind of grow. I, I don't spend as much time as I can uh, as I would like with them, but even in that like short amount of time, I still can see like the maturing and like the eagerly asked questions, and it kind of really makes me um, feel like what I'm teaching matters. I think my biggest takeaway from um, volunteering would be. Um, how humbling it is because you know I got the opportunity to go to a private school and I travel a lot with my family and seeing people who don't have the same opportunities but always still have a smile on their face when they come and um, they let us help them find like a good outfit for a job interview or um, like just getting like shampoo and conditioner and the opportunity to have a warm home cooked meal and with everything happening in their lives, um, they still somehow manage to um, keep light in their life. That's really inspiring to me.